right everyone today we're gonna just take the Mavic uh, Pro up for a couple of minutes to um, check this firmware update out that I just did so uh, you know I can't stress enough taking these up for these little short flights after these firmware updates because you know just for an example you know they had that Mavic Air uh, update and a lot of stuff went horribly wrong with that now it didn't affect mine too much it just made mine act a little wonky remember I went out to that rocket and I said it was kind of acting stupid but a lot of people had a lot of serious problems with that thing okay <laughs> crashes and flyaways and all that other stuff because, you know, they put that update on there and then they run out there and go try to do a range test. Okay, and then it's gone. You know, it flies away. You always should just fly it around for a little bit just to make sure everything's working properly. Like on mine, on my Mavic Air, everything worked okay. It just flew a little goofy. You know, just wonked around a little bit. But the, you know, the asteroid and the tap flies and all that stuff, all that stuff worked on mine. You know, I never had any issues with that. Because, you know, in a manufacturing process, they're always streamlining the hardware. They're always doing revisions to the hardware. So, just because it doesn't, you know, just because there's been no reported problems with this Mavic Pro on that update, that doesn't mean that it won't affect mine. Okay? So, that's why I'm going to uh, take it up just for a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm trying the <coughs> active track now to make sure that's working, which it seems to be. <coughs> okay, so that's working. We know that. See if the sport mode's okay. That seems to be okay. Oh, that thing got such a severe pitch on it when it's in that sport mode. <laughs> That seems to be all right. Let's take it out of that. Well, 
Okay, I'm just going to try to do a little point of interest here. Just a small one. All right. Sure wish they had that on the spark. Seems to be working. And you could speed it up too. There's a thing here you can. It's only going at two miles an hour right now, but you could speed up the point of it uh, to five miles an hour if you want or higher. Seems fine to me. I am going out next weekend to the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike with uh, the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air. I'm taking both of them out there, so we'll see how that rolls. All right, guys. You see how it does in the new, the firmware, it'll stop a little bit higher than it used to, and then it'll come down the rest of the way. They revised that. That's how Dustin lost his Mavic Pro in that waterfall, because it would just, you hit the land, it would just come down and land, and uh, it wouldn't stop. Now it gets down to like that foot of, or foot and a half above the surface and it'll stop and then make you slide a bar to finish the landing so that was a good idea for them to put that in even though he lost he lost his poor guy and <laughs> he had to buy another one but he just he just checked that feature out on the uh, uh on his channel um with it, it by a swimming pool he tried it on a swimming pool and he was uh, happy they put that feature in so he won't lose another one. I don't even think he ever found that sucker. He went down there with that submarine thing, but I don't think he ever found it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.